Snow bikes have been the newest craze when it comes to big altitude exploring over the past few years. And during that time, we've had some experience on a few different variations, but never bikes of our own and never at sea level. Until now, that is. If you remember back a few weeks, with the help of Luke, I converted our Yamaha 450FX from wheels to paddles with a shiny new 2017 Timber Sled LE kit. Fully tricked out with the upgraded Fox QS3 front and rear arm shocks, as well as the Timber Sled TSS air shock under the seat, taking our total rear end travel numbers up to 20 inches and making our first venture into snow biking more than just testing the waters, but pretty much going in head first. Our Yamaha FX mounted up to the Timber Sled LE is pretty much one of the most potent packages that you can buy in the market today. But there's still a few things that I want before I ride. Utilizing our friends at Kimpex, it wasn't long before a fresh box of snow bike accessories arrived at my door. And the first thing I find to be a must have is a new set of ultra wide foot pegs. My FXR boots are so much larger than MX boots, it's hard to get a good planted feel with the stock narrow MX pegs. So I went with a DRC hardware and their new wide peg in a low negative five millimeter design. They add huge grip and more importantly, confidence when tearing up the fresh snow. Now, when we're out in the fresh snow on a snow bike, it's no surprise that an MX bike doesn't have any hot grips. And while I can stop every few minutes to heat my hands up on the pipe, I don't wanna do that. I'm out there to ride, so there's gotta be a better answer. Oxford heaters make hot grip kits for just about everything you can imagine, from ATVs to all disciplines of motorcycle riding. I picked the premium Adventure Series heaters for 7 8 inch bars. These heaters are sealed, the control is watertight, and they draw less than four amps. And that's a huge plus, seeing as the battery on this FX is not very big. With the five heat settings available, I won't be stopping to warm up and I won't have to wear heavy gloves to keep my digits moving. This is not only a smart idea for comfort, the Oxford brand knows how to make a comfortable and controlled grip surface while also keeping wires from fraying. Now, while I'm up here at the handlebars, there's a couple of obvious additions that if you're going out snow biking, you need to have. The first of which being a good quality set of bark busters. Snow bike riding is in the trees and it can get pretty tight at times. A good quality set of bark busters like these Zeta products armor are important to keep your hands safe, but when you link them with the matching armor hand guards, you know you have more than just safety, but also wind blockage. The bark busters are all aluminum and come in a variety of colors, as do the plastic guards. The second piece to the front end is a light. Because this is an FX, not a WR, we do have a battery, but we do not have a light. Kimpex supplied me with a very sturdy, all aluminum, nine inch wide, slim LED with mounting hardware. This light bar is small enough to stay out of the way, but packs a lot of punch with a color temp of 6,500K and 30 watts of total draw. Now, because we're gonna be pulling some decent wattage from the FX's already small battery, I'm gonna be riding on some cold days and in some remote locations, there's one thing that I'm not gonna leave home without having in my mountain pack. And that piece is a lithium smart jump starter. Kimpex makes a line of jump starters and this particular one is 600 amps and comes in a nice little zippered carry case. If you wanna ditch the case and just take the essentials, it only weighs 1.7 pounds and is nothing short of a lifesaver, considering it will not only jumpstart the bike, but also recharge your phone or sports cam. And because it's a safe starter, you can't make a mistake when you're hooking it up. It's safe and it's smart. There are a lot of options out there for you to upgrade your snow bike. Sure, you could ride it stock, but for me, I want to enjoy my ride as much as possible. And all of these accessories do just that for me and so much more. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more content from Snowtracks TV, click the like button and subscribe to the Snowtracks TV YouTube channel.